Local law enforcement officers across our region say someone is calling with the name of Jonathan Knight. The fake agent threatens to issue an arrest warrant if you don't pay up. Accountants say this is not how the IRS handles tax fraud, even though the caller sounds official by providing their name and credential number at the beginning of the conversation. Which, if you've ever talked to the IRS, that's how they always start their conversations. Enrolled agent and owner of Rogue Tax Professionals in Medford, Justin Botier, says the callers in this scam usually have a small amount of personal information. He says they have just enough of your information to make it sound serious, but it's best to stay calm and don't fall for the fake out. But if you start to ask questions, uh, they will often just start to like pull away and eventually just hang up on you. Uh, because they ultimately don't have that much information on you. Botier says another option is to hang up or if you have a voicemail, don't return the phone call. Why? Because the IRS doesn't call to communicate any issues, nor do they email, text, or use social media. He says there's been a recent cluster of copycats. It seems to be growing, like, because several years ago this happened like once and then maybe a couple of times the next year. But now I've talked to probably five people, five of my clients who've had these phone calls. Botier says he understands residents get nervous when they hear the IRS is contacting them. The callers are aggressive and some people don't respond correctly. However, the IRS will not issue an arrest warrant and you won't go to jail. It really isn't anything to be afraid of. Um, you know, it's going to jail for um, not paying your taxes is unheard of unless you are a high profile criminal and you're and you're purposely and intentionally evading taxes. Covering your news, Aaron Nilsson, News 10.